Hey guys, welcome to Sunburned Albino Slays the Spire. We're gonna start each run damaged with the Ironclad. How much damage though? Oh, just eight? That's nothing. You can make that back in like 1.25 combats. I'm looking for that. Because now we have full health. Technically, I gained HP. And Tori Gate is good. Left side is good pretty much for everything. All right, are you ready? Don't you think the Ironclad should do more damage than the Silent? Like, their strikes shouldn't be the same damage. I have a big-ass giant two-handed sword that I hold really weird. Like, I've never wielded a sword before. And the Silent just has daggers. And it's not like the daggers don't kill, because, yeah, they do. I get it. That's not enough to kill you. But this is. It's just like, you know, daggers, you aim for enemy critical spots, right? Weak spots. And with a sword, you're just doing raw damage. Well, now I'm starting to think maybe we should go this way. This, uh, yeah. yeah, let's go this way. Oh, bonus shop didn't need it. Sadistic nature plus thunderclap. No, there's no thunderclap available. And none of these relics are worth it. But we removed out. And then with 213, we could. Sadistic nature is good, but. That's only if we're boner. Sadistic nature is really good with poison, by the way. Like in venom. Oh my god. Super good. You know, I did that on a, one of my silent runs and I lost. So that was good. Uh. I kind of want sadistic nature, but it's also not good yet. Let's take it and then let's make it good. Let's get as many thunderclaps as we can. That is flex, that is not thunderclap. Oh man, if only we held out, we could have had ice cream. Hmm, that'll do 27. Maybe I should have just not. All right, this'll work. Because then we do a bonus three and you're dead. Oh yeah. Juggernaut's not good. Whiff. Dude, imagine Juggernaut with uh, the silence after image. <laughs> oh. Be real swell. No to any of that. I was looking for another strike, but yeah, you can give me that. Give me two defends instead. Bonus damage. Bonus damage. Flame barrier is good for this guy. More block, less energy. You gain less strength as a result. Should we do it again? You're gonna make me vulnerable this turn. Or we could do 18, which is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, see, that hurts, but you're also, you're not dead! Oh! My math that I didn't even do was off by one. Oh, bag of marbles. If only you, like, had started with Sadistic Nature, that would have been... That'd be good. I'm gonna take dual wield. Such a waste. 
just this free debuffs that I can't take advantage of. This is very upsetting. <laughs> Okay, strike kills you, bash makes you vulnerable, and does three bonus damage. This is why we need thunderclaps. So you've got to be kidding me that that's not enough to block this attack. You stupid Grimer wannabe. Huh. <sighs> No, like, no, really, we're not really doing a strike deck. We're not really doing any kind of deck right now. Oh, it's on. Who would look at me get rid of all your artifacts? You'd want to start with, like, the one that's going to be attacking next turn and see if you're confident enough that you'll be able to kill it. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to do that. Because I'm pretty sure that they just alternate, guaranteed, at this point. I think that's what happens. So you die, and then we Flame Barrier. Okay. I think it's better to just do that. Dual Wield's not good yet. Dual Wield needs a little help from Infernal Blade if we can pick that up. Also needs an upgrade. Uh, we're not boasting a lot of attack power. Mostly we just have a lot of incomplete strategies that are happening. So you just gotta give it time and not get super frustrated how long it takes to get good in this game. Like to get a functioning deck. It's also, you have, you're gonna make me do that. It was better to wait. Patience was rewarded. Oh. Would we want a battle trance? Headbutt with dual wield. Oh, damn it. You're, you're useless, so, like, we could get rid of you last. Also, I can afford to just defend. And bring Dual Wheel back to me, please. And bring Flame Barrier back to me, please. See how nice that is. We get exactly what we want when we want it. And no to any of that. Okay, 48 to 72. Well, we have a, a lead coming up, so we kind of have to rest. I really want to dig up a random relic. We'll get to that point. We'll get to where we can make that happen. Let's start with the elite. Bag of Marbles helps so much. On those turns where, like, you get the one turn before shit starts to go down. You know what I'm saying? Try and lose as little health as possible. 
but in this instance that really just means take a bunch of damage at the start, but make sure it doesn't happen that often. I want Flame Barrier next turn also. Yeah, definitely I do. Do wield double strike won't do it. Do the damage. I can't bank on getting three hits on the next turn. I could have banked on getting two, though. Also, we got three hits on the next turn. Red Skull's gonna help right now, though. Take Ghostly Armor. Can use that as a low-cost, nice block. Or just let it go from my deck if I don't need it. Like, look at that, that's good. That's worthwhile. And we have bonus strength. Uh... No. We gotta rest. Although if it's you, then we maybe don't have to. And maybe we'd even benefit from not resting. Because we would have Red Skull with bonus strength. I'm gonna dig for a relic. It's a ballsy play. Also, Molten Egg is super good. As early as we got it. Alright, good. As long as we get an attack, we won't die. Perfect. Does 12, that's just what I want. Give me Flame Barrier for the next turn. And then, yeah. We get that bonus strength. And then use Ghostly Armor so that it doesn't go away. Because that's a card we definitely need to keep. Also, this sucks. Just do it. The Bash is worth the extra damage. Okay, with 40, but you're that, we do 19 with that, we can't kill you. We have to do that, I guess. That helps. It's the best we can do. And I don't want to just fill up on strikes with dual wield either. Because, as you can see, we already have too many. Oh yeah, keep the strength coming. Just double defend. Make a copy of Headbutt. I want to see that card more often. Let's get some of that going. Getting just the right defense when we need them. And then this is where we struggle. But also Tori Gate just kind of ruined everything you thought you were gonna do. So I'm good with it. Okay, perfect. Should we make Bash happen again? Probably. Yeah. Then we deal a bonus one damage. We want Flame Barrier, but Ghostly Armor's gone now. So that's bad but also maybe necessary. You got three, you'll do one HP. For 16 damage, that's worth it. Oh no. We're not dead yet. Hold on, is it better if we just destroy you? Can we? This'll deal 21. 
plus 32, which is more than 46. Ah, close. We gotta remember that we don't gain H. We only gain half health across floors now, so. Philosopher's Stone or Eternal Feather. I think you might have to go Eternal Feather. I think Eternal Feather's usefulness ratchets up the harder the game is, the higher difficulty you're at. But all of this looks like trash. Well, we kind of just have to commit to not killing these dudes and taking a load of damage. Too much damage, in fact. Just an unfortunate amount of damage. But we can at least kill this one. Can we? No, we can't. At least we tried our best, though. Did we? Not really. I don't think we did. Well, at least we'll die. Eventually. Oh, you didn't leave. Okay. No. I mean, with Red Skull, Heavy Blade would be okay. I'd say Intimidate instead. Because Intimidate's a debuff. It will, if you don't get it before Sadistic Nature, at least. I want to do both of these things. We didn't even punch through his bladed armor. All right, there's some of that. There's that. I didn't even punch through his plated armor once again. Maybe at some point, we'll be able to punch through his plated armor. Hmm. No, it still doesn't look like we can punch through his plated armor. Okay, well, I'm looking at this, and from what I can see, it doesn't appear that we can punch through its plated armor. Okay, now this is a little better, because we still can't punch through its plated armor. Now what about here? Now he's at 14 block. We have ghostly armor and a defend. What's nice about this is that we still can't punch through its plated armor. This is the single worst thing in the world. We can only do damage via flame barrier. So, okay. You know what? We finally punched through his plated armor. For one damage. And then he also did one damage to me. That's how you know that we're on an equal playing field here. Oh yeah, not punching through that plated armor. This is going to be an entirely flame barrier based damage dealing run. I hope you brought something to do while we wait for the second coming of Christ, which we'll get here before we punch, punch through that plated armor. Oh, you're finally starting to do more damage. That's unfortunate. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know why you think you get to do that. Well, it's time to punch through that plated armor and then take a bunch of damage. But guess what? Now, we can punch through his plated armor. And then he just healed so much damage. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding that you got to do that just now? Are you for seriously serious right now? Bash this man to death and kill him. Okay. I'll take Twin Strike Plus. Oh yeah, they're all upgraded. We have Molten Egg. So we should keep that in mind.
That's a good way to make you not matter at all. But also, you kind of have to kill the bird first. But it's too late, so now we must travel down this path. Ooh, that's exactly 18 damage I just noticed. <laughs> what do you know about that? Didn't make me block. Huh, well, Twin Strike and Strike will keep you out. So that's nice. Why use the defend? We just gave ourselves another dazed. Because I'm a smart individual, that's why. Super smart. As smart as they come. The smartest person anyone's ever seen come. Ah, that vulnerable is so off-putting. But guess who's still alive? I really needed that twin strike earlier. Because now we're dead. But are we dead? Are we really dead? Nope! <laughs> Still alive. I am gonna take Disarm Plus. Uh, we need something. So yeah, we gotta do that. Oh, you just had to pick this dude. You just had to pick the guy that's guaranteed to kill me. That was, that was awful kind of you. Like, really. There's nothing to do. There's You can't do anything. Ten block. Actually, you can do that. And then if Tori Gate does something... Fire Potion doesn't go through block? I don't know, it didn't work. It wasn't enough. <sighs> what floor was that? Second one? Should we do it again? Probably. I should really like look at the time up in the top right. Right when I'm about to die. Just to make sure. It's gonna be good. Uh, yeah, let's get some max HP. Okay, we got full question marks going on this way. Now, what do we need to do to not get destroyed by the time we get to the second floor because our deck hasn't been, like, filled out enough? Like, what really needs to happen? What could we get right out of the gate that would take us out of a hairy situation? We make a strength deck as soon as possible. Yes, I need gold. Gold is king. You gotta stop giving me normal enemy combats, though. I really don't like it. Three strikes, please. Three. That's one. Uh, doesn't matter, you're still dead. Disarm. Clash isn't really gonna work in this deck. Okay, fine. Uh, yes? I want to lose some max HP. We just gained a bunch. So we've got some to burn. No. Anything strength related? Is that a no? That is a no. Well, we'll remove doubt and move along.
I suppose this is probably the best. He's still sleeping. What if we just leave him like that? But then... You gain the block, but you're still vulnerable. They really didn't make that much difference. Okay. Definitely gain strength and bash. We gotta close this out. You're about to make me lose a bunch of strength, so... Ooh! Oh, look at that. It was the perfect draw. Couldn't have been better. Oh, upgrade. Strike and bash? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's alright. Gotta get a heavy blade for this deck. Ooh, we can heal. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, spot weakness, so Heavy Blade does a redonkulous amount of damage. Well, not really, but... It was an amount. And then we just heal back the damage that we took. Oh, we'll take another Clash. Art of War, then that's gonna be probably less than useless to me. good. I get where the Clash deck comes from. I'm gonna need it to, like, keep going in, in this climate. What's better, Spot Weakness or Inflame? Spot Weakness is particular about when it happens. Inflame you can do when evs, but it's less strength. Give me another Spot Weakness, then. Also, Spot Weakness recycles, so I guess that does make it better. Oh, I want Toxic Egg. You know what? Flex on sale? You sold me. Inflame? You didn't sell me on Inflame. <laughs> Just use it so it goes away so you can do this. That's an okay amount of damage to do at the start. Alright, we don't need Bash if we make use of Clash. 23 and 9. Do you know how ridiculously annoying it is that I can't kill you with that? Ah, uh, also I shouldn't, I should have used the Ancient Potion, I forgot I had it. Might as well defend and block for two extra. A smiling Mask is okay. Oh, a Limit Break? Okay, we're starting to have something that can work here. Heal to 81. Probably should have upgraded there, but hopefully this doesn't do anything terrible to me. Oh, it's just a shop and we can't afford what is on sale? Reaper is on sale? Oh my god, yes. Flex is not on sale. Would we want to remove a card? I don't know that we would. Really? Remove a defend. That way Clash has a better chance to work. And let's add Flex to the equation. Alright, time to upgrade. What do we upgrade? 
Don't upgrade Reaper. Upgrade Limit Break so it sticks around. Okay. Now, please allow me to do the damage that I would like to be doing. I really want to double my strength now. Let's see, if we limit break, can strike do it? 11, 2, plus 5. Oh, you totally could. Do it. Perfect! Sorry, I'm not really interested in taking damage right now. And we get bonus energy for doing that too, nice! Well, keep doubling it. If you're gonna do damage to me, I'm gonna at least heal it. Some of it, anyway. You know what? Do all of it. It don't matter. Yeah, defense not gonna help me out here. Heavy blade will, though. Dude cannot handle this deck. Fine. As long as we stay above half health, we'll gain it all back. <laughs> Bye. I guess this is the deck you really have to use as the Ironclad once you get up there. Now, what exhausts in our hand, our deck? Reaper? Do we want to exhume just to bring back Reaper? I don't think so. I will take double tap, though, because then Reaper can be used twice. Not Mark of Pain. Mark of Pain will ruin Clash. Tiny House? I'm taking, for the first time ever, I'm taking a White Beast statue. And then we'll make sure we use a potion each time. Uh, 146 is not really enough to do anything valuable, but we'll still come over here. It's unblocked! You simpleton. Oh, we're gonna take that much damage. But I'm gonna use one of my ancient potions. Should've used it to stop the flex debuff from happening, but I didn't think about it in time. See, 14 and 14. Oh, you'll die. You'll die from this. Oh, I like that fire potion. Another flex? I say yes. Removing cards always costs next to nothing. I really want both of these. Uh, Thunderclap's not what we want now. Ah! Uh, do you just remove a card? I think you do. You remove defend. Maybe we could make it so that instead of needing to block, we could just buff Reaper so much that we heal back any damage that we take. And you would want a thunderclap for that. Because you want him to be vulnerable. For bonus healing. Oh yeah, don't we gain HP whenever we gain gold? Yes! Oh, that's gonna be so necessary for survival. No, I don't want Jax. I have almost never wanted Jax. Okay. 
Okay. Seven times two is going to hurt. And it was always going to hurt. I'm throwing a fire potion at you now. So you can suck on that. Now give me Reaper. Oh, you did! It'll play it twice. We should have used the fire potion later. Damn. This won't even break through. I have to double defend. And that won't make a difference. None of that will make a difference. Don't attack that we get bonus energy next turn. Oh, here we go. Clash for 26. I can't believe that's not enough to kill you. But we have a bonus energy, so give me a strike. Yes. Okay. Gain some health from that. Uh, I don't know about anger, but okay, yeah, anger. Let's get it. Come over here and upgrade something. Heavy Blade? Oh, yeah, you gotta upgrade Heavy Blade. How have I not done that yet? Oh, you're not intending to attack, eh? Well, then. It's 14 damage twice. Oh, we gotta upgrade Double Tap, too. I mean, it's not a bad start. If I drink this, I'll still be weak, but it will take to get rid of the frail. Wish it would let us choose which one we wanted to do. I need to throw that for sure. Uh, you're gonna what? You're gonna enfeeble me again? Okay, well, my potion was for nothing then. But not necessarily. I wish we weren't weak. But we gained 6 HP for that. Plus the 5 there. So we're keeping it up. One more thunderclap, you got it. I know we did this in the wrong order before, but I still think this is the right one. Or at least it is this time, based on this deck. That block potion is everything right now. Okay, here's what we do. We defend to get that out of the way. Double thunderclap. And then clash you so you don't attack. See, we can manage the bird whenever we want to manage the bird. Oh, yes. Even though... Man, if we could get Orichalcum as a relic, that would be so amazing. Okay, three strength. That is basically the same. Okay, do that. Heal for seven. And you know what? You can get right back up if you want. See if you can handle the onslaught of attacks I'm about to lay at you. Oh, you couldn't even handle one? That's too bad for you. Do a wheel plus. Absolutely. Blood vial? I mean, it's a bit overkill at this point. Ah, uh, limit break won't work. Oh, but it will if I use this potion. bonus energy on the next turn. So we want flex. Heavy Blade will do 44. 
And we could Reaper after that. And heal back to full. And then take a lot of damage. I don't think you need another Thunderclap. I think you're dead in three turns, or less. So Strike is more damage out of the gate, and that's fine. Double Spot Weakness, Flex. And I was expecting that to be a little more bombastic. But we're still gonna kill you. Memory, I'll take it, I guess. It's not good, but yeah, it's whatever. <gasps> Infernal Blade! We finally got it. Oh, I gotta heal. Yeah, it, sorry, it's no contest there. And we gotta rest. And look at that, we're right back up to full. It's a miracle. Oh, fuck you. I guess. Look at them giving each other strength like they're friends. God, that's such a waste of a turn! But Clash will be played twice now. And then do you die from this? You don't. Because you're a bastard. Well, then we gotta do it like this. 29 damage. 7 damage. Unblocked. At least now it's a little more. Went up to 10. Then we did that. It would have been better to just kill you, I think. Took two more damage overall. Which is a crying shame. Oh, except... We just got another seven. Eat your heart out. I don't want a Havoc. Intimidate? What kind of stuff are we thinking of here? kind of synergy is nothing pretty much at all. Skip it. What a waste! Why do you have to do that to me? Ah. Dual wielding clash. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, Reaper, the, the hordes is where Reaper shines. So you Thunderclap first, then you heal for 12, and then you don't kill this guy because you don't have the energy. Or the damage, whatever you want to call it. I'm oh, taking three less damage as a result of that potion. Is it worth it? No. Yet we did it anyway. God, we got no strength at all this go around. So just do that. War cry. Yes. And then 63 of 89. Do we need to rest? Or can we upgrade? What would we upgrade? We would upgrade double tap, probably. Maybe infernal blade. But Infernal Blades only once, though. I think it's gotta be double tap first.
right, we healed for four, and then did another four. And that was what happened this turn. You know, we managed to kill one in one turn. That's pretty good. Should we probably do that? Oh, with that did the flex and then you did the stasis anyway. Oh, but I don't have any good cards for you to get rid of. Is that what you're trying to tell me? All right. That's not helpful and it never will be. Ah, oh, man. Better to just kill you this way. Okay, we're hurting, but... I don't know what I was thinking, but also that kind of worked out. Really gonna get rid of those artifacts. Oh, you're gonna do 58 damage? Oh, is that? Oh, that's what I'm expected to be okay with. Oh, okay. All right. Well, with 58 damage, I guess I could just kind of stick my thumbs in my own asshole and skip down the road and right into oncoming traffic. That kind of seems like a similar experience to what is about to happen here. Yeah, that's fair. Just do 58 damage. Why wouldn't you gain 9 strength in one turn or whatever you did? That's cool. Alright. That's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.